Oh, crap. All right, I'll just patiently wait while I watch this three-hour movie. Shiova. What in the world? There is a fifth dimension. Uh, not again. Beyond that which is known to man. I should have watched the extended edition. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is an area which we call the Shader Zone. Ah, the Shader Zone sucks. I could have built the whole game by now. So my challenge is this. Can I make a game by the time it takes Unreal to load my project? Before we begin, let's set some parameters. I'll literally open Unreal on one screen and then work within the Gato engine since Unreal is occupied. And finally, what constitutes a game? For me, that's when a player has input, they have a goal they're trying to achieve, and they have elements that are working against them to keep them from that goal. If I meet those, I'll consider it a game. All right, we'll start in three, two, one. My idea for a simple game is to have a player controlled ball. The player must get to an end goal with some platform mazes and maybe some obstacles. So it's basically monkey ball. In fact, we'll call it shader ball. And the goal will be to exit the shader zone. Let's get started. The first step will be to create my ball character. I'll use a rigid body 3D node along with a mesh instance, collision 3D, and a camera 3D node. I'll set the camera position to behind the ball and I'll fine tune it later. Shader check. All right, so we're still waiting, so let's add the input buttons real quick for our movement. I'll use these to adjust the angular velocity of the ball. I'll need some platforms next. I'd like to try the grid map mode, but I don't think there's time. We're already at 45%. All right, we're just gonna have to rough it with primitives. Let's get this ball moving. I'll use the inputs to adjust the angular velocity of our ball with this code here. I'll also need to make sure that the camera stays focused on the ball with this code. Shader check. All right, it's getting closer. We got like 15 minutes tops. So let's get the platform so we can start moving the ball. All right, now we can test our movement a little bit more. Feels pretty good. Let's do a shader check. We're not gonna make it. It's almost loaded. I really thought we were gonna be able to do this. Wait a minute. We're still alive. Let's finish this bad boy. All right, so it finally loaded. So how much of my game did I get done in the Gato engine? Well, not only did I manage to build a very basic game, but I had a little bit of time to add some special effects. Check it out. Okay, so this whole thing is more than a little bit ridiculous. You should not try to make a game within 15, 20 minutes. And there's a reason why Unreal takes that long to load, because it can make stuff like this. But it does illustrate the importance of efficiency when working on your project. Time is valuable. It's important to know where your development process might lag and ways that you can improve that or if you need to focus your attention elsewhere. In fact, there are a lot of... Wait, the, the project loaded. We made it out. But that must mean... Well, while we're here, check out this video where I port an Unreal prototype of mine to the Gato engine. Maybe I need to find Jordan Peele.